Good morning, outdoor enthusiasts. Today, I'm gonna to be fleshing out a deer hide. Uh, first, I'm gonna turn the ears and uh, kind of show y'all the way that I, that I get around the earbud, the way I turn the ear inside out, and the cartilage removal. Um, anybody interested in learning how to do that on taxidermy work, this will be helpful. It's something that needs to be done, um, especially the cartilage removal. It'll give you a, a thin ear to where you can put your ear liner or bondo in, get some good edges and make that ear look thin and cut the way that it's supposed to instead of, you know, puffy. Uh, anyway, let's get started. I've got a, I've got a deer cape that's already ready to go here. Um, what you're gonna start out with, you've got the ear. Let me get this camera set up here. You got the ear, inside that ear, you can see the ear butt right here. And all this, this meat needs to go, you gotta, you're gonna have to turn all that in and, and this, uh, this fat on the edge of this ear, if you'll start at the edge of this hide and just start with your scalpel, you can use a knife if you want to. I use a number 11 X-Acto blade I really like the fine point at the end of that and the, the short length of that blade. You can get in some very fine detail work, uh, which is a little bit easier. It takes a little bit longer with a small blade, but I, I actually like the, the way I'm able to do the smaller spots with it. But if you just start, like I said, at the edge of that cape and work that down toward that ear butt. I'm gonna to try to do this kind of fast so that I don't end up with a 30 minute video of just how to do ears. Um, plus this is a buddy of mine's deer, so if I cut it half to pieces, he ain't gonna be mad at me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but seriously, I'm serious. And that's kind of what you want, like just down to that, that white leather. Um, Skin's pretty tough, a little bit tougher than you would think. Um, I mean, you can still cut holes in it if you get a little too aggressive and, and you're gonna make accidents, but. One thing I definitely learned when I started doing taxidermy is the some of the best qualifications of being a decent taxidermist is learning how to fix your mistakes rather than just mount a deer head. If you can do it perfect every single time, they wouldn't ever need any kind of talent. <laughs> Some of, the, some of the talent that comes with this job is learning how to cover up what you messed up because it's going to happen. And not just what you messed up. Sometimes, um, I know one of the first deer that I ever watched be mounted by a friend of mine was a big nine point that I killed out in Marion County, Alabama. And uh, the deer, my rifle had gotten bumped somehow and my scope was off nearly 10 inches. And when I shot that buck, I shot him right in the side of the head. I actually shot his skull plate and just, I mean, messed up the antlers, messed up the ears, part of the head. Um, and my buddy was actually able to fix all that, thank goodness. So you're gonna come across hunters that, that mess some stuff up too, uh, not just you. <laughs> so good to learn that kind of stuff. All right, right here, you can see with the ear butt, I'm just working that skin off of that that cartilage and off of those muscles. Um, and like I said, get as much of that, that sinew as you can, that right there, while you're going. Um, be just less that you gotta flesh out later on once you start doing your, your fleshing work. I always start with the ears, I guess because it's my least favorite part of fleshing a deer head out. I don't, I don't like dealing with them, so I just get them out of the way first. Once you get to that point, once you get on down, I don't know, maybe a third of the way up the ear, you'll notice that it starts getting kind of hard to, to turn that ear inside out. So it's getting really tight. I kind of work my way up as far as I can until it gets almost aggravating. Then you get your ear turners. If you're gonna mount your own deer, you really need a pair of these. They're not very expensive. Um, just buy the cheapest ones you can find. Uh, but it works like a backwards pair of pliers. You put it up in that ear, when you squeeze, it'll open that front up and pop that ear loose from that cartilage. But you just put it in the, in the crease of, between the skin and that cartilage and squeeze. You can hear that pop loose. 
Sometimes this works great. Sometimes you tear holes all in the ear trying to do it. Um, it all just depends on the deer, honestly. Uh, some of the big deer, the really old deer, that sinew holding this together almost turns into cartilage. And you will have a very hard time sometimes turning those ears. Um, but like I said, it needs to be done. Even if it requires a little bit of repair work once you've gotten them apart, it's still gonna be a better looking ear repaired than it would be if you don't remove that cartilage. Just work down the edge of that ear. Like I said, you'll just take the, take the point of that and if you kind of twist, if it gets hard, twist your wrist a little bit and get it up in there as far as you can until it completely stops. Once you get to the tip of that ear, I like to work it all the way to the very tip. And then once it's all the way through, you can start working your way down the edges with the tip of those ear turners and just, just squeeze. You see what I'm doing with my hand right here? Just squeeze a little bit at a time and, and walk the tip of that right down the edge of that ear. Just popping it loose as you go. All right. And once you get all that pop loose, when you try to turn that inside out, maybe a few strings here or there, just cut those loose. And that ear will turn on inside out, just like that. And once you get to that point, you got that deer inside out, where the, where the edges, that cartilage meets the skin on the, on the corners and edges. Take your scalpel and just gently run it down through there until you get right to the edge of that ear cartilage. It's not hard to do, it'll almost, it'll almost work itself out as you're just running that, that down through there, but you can see the edge where that cartilage meets the edge of that hide. All right, once you get to that point, you're gonna to wanna to remove all the, the fat and muscle from the bottom of this ear cartilage. Fairly easy to do. I'm um, just work your way around the edge. And like I said, I mean, when you're doing this, you can always take your time. You don't have to go as fast as I'm going for this video. Make sure you don't you know, cut any big giant holes in it or anything crazy like that. The great thing about this is, this is one of the hardest parts, in my opinion, to learn uh, if you're gonna mount your own deer heads. Uh, the good thing about this is if you get you some ear turners and a scalpel, um, which probably won't run you no more than about $20 or $30 total, you can practice this on every doe that you ever shoot. Any deer that's killed, you can always practice turning ears. So once you get all that meat off, you're left with the, the butt of that ear, just the cartilage. Okay, and once you get to this point, I like to take my scalpel and make an incision about, about halfway down maybe that does not go all the way through this cartilage. I'm sorry, it will go all the way through the cartilage, but not all the way through the skin on the back of the ear. Basically, all you're doing is scratching a little line into that cartilage. And then when you squeeze that ear, it'll open that up. And if you'll take your scalpel anywhere where it's not completely opened up to the skin and just run it down, that line, it'll pop loose. Where you, all you've got is, is your cartilage right there to work with. It's not still attached to itself. All right, once you get that done, get you a pair of needle nose pliers and work the needle nose up under that, that cartilage, between the cartilage and the skin. And if you use, use this thumb and press while you're holding on to that, to that cartilage. This is the part you're gonna tear the ear half to pieces sometimes, and there's not a whole lot you can do about it, depending on the deer itself. Some of them work a whole lot better than others, but you can see as I'm, as I'm peeling, where that's starting to come off of there. It's hard to show you what I'm doing here with this. Okay. 
and in the future I promise y'all I'm going to get a better HD camera set up rather than having to use my cell phone uh, right now we're struggling trying to get some internet here at the house I live just far enough in the middle of nowhere to where it's not accessible here so I'm having to do a lot of this stuff just by cell phone which is horrible but it's necessary and I like for people to know I've just been so many people ask me about this kind of stuff that I just feel it's time to start putting some of it out there and let people you know start practicing trying to do some of it all right you see it just you just keep working this up and go slow right here just do take take your time take your thumb and just pop a little bit at a time and always make sure to watch in this crease right here if it starts pulling hair through that skin slow down a little bit sometimes you'll have to take your scalpel and kind of help that cartilage away from that skin when it starts pulling those hair follicles through that skin sometimes it will rip a hole in that do you see where i remove that that's just cartilage and now right here that skin is it's almost like kleenex i mean there's nothing left of it um when you slide that airliner up in there it will take the shape of that airliner there's there's nothing left to, in here that's shaped funny the problem with the cartilage is if you don't remove it um and some people i know don't remove the cartilage it's it's you know you can mount it here without without removing it if you feel like it the problem with the cartilage is that sometimes as that deer dries that cartilage is liable to change shape um it may curl a little bit here or there or it you know it just kind of has a mind of its own whereas an ear liner is the exact shape that it's supposed to be when the deer is alive <laughs> so at least you've got a chance of making something that looks like a live animal which is always a bonus nobody wants a mount on their wall that looks like a dead animal that is still half alive <laughs> all right you get down to this bottom part of cartilage peel it all the way down you get to that inner ear um if you'll take your thumb and just keep pressing down in that hole you'll be able to loosen that on up all the way down into the inside of that inside of that ear and then what i like to do is take my, my scalpel on the edge of that cartilage you see where the cartilage where it goes all the way down into the inside of the ear there take your scalpel and just cut the cartilage right along where it meets the skin just don't cut through the skin i'm um, just cut along the edge of that that line and remove cartilage on my ear liner video you'll notice that hit the other piece of this ear this right here is going to be the ear liner in the ear liner video that i did um, if you look back at that video you're going to notice how i cut the bottom of that ear liner off and it looks just like that that, that hole in it and what that does you'll see on that video where that piece right there will be just like a puzzle piece will slide down in that ear liner and go right through and pop in place and replace what i took away that way you've got an inner ear for your mount that is the actual inner ear attached to the deer which is going to you know going to look a little bit better um you know most people aren't going to look down the ears of their deer mounts but at least if somebody decides to it has an inner ear in there somewhere um but anyway that right there is pretty much your finished what you want your finished product to look like is just just ear skin um it needs to be that flimsy when you're done any little bits and pieces of cartilage anything left go ahead and, and get those off pick them off and uh anyway that right there will conclude this video of how to do that so like i said the good thing is uh, some ear liners and a scalpel and you'll be able to do uh practice all you want on does um young bucks anything anybody kills you can get that and you can sit there and mess with that for little or nothing and it's great practice you don't want to kill you a nice buck and try to turn the ears for the first time um and then you know really end up with some some problems tear something to pieces but uh anyhow if this is if this is your first time on this channel or if you've you've even watched this before if you will please hit that subscribe button and uh give me another subscriber because i'm just kind of getting this started but i really i really think this is going to be helpful for a lot of people and uh should be some interesting content coming up um come hunting season so anyway y'all have a nice day and until next time i'm out